Cats on stamps have always been a popular theme to collect in philately. Here we have five stamps featuring our feline friends, first issued by the Royal Mail on the 17th of January 1995. And my personal favourite in this set is this little fella in the centre here. But did you know that cats have actually been employed by the post office and were once paid a wage. Let me explain. In the 19th century, postal carriers used cloth sacks to deliver the mail, and it was these sacks that mice loved to chew on, as the shredded pieces would be used as nesting material. Now this was a concern and a problem for the post office, obviously. The early postmasters weren't necessarily cat lovers, they just needed a way to get rid of the mice. So in September 1868, the Secretary of the Post Office authorised the official appointment of three cats to try and keep the mouse population under control. Well, it was decided that the three cats chosen had to be female and were to undergo a six month probation period. If they didn't stop the problem, they were out. But cats don't eat for free, right? And so they were allotted just one shilling, not the requested two, a week to feed all three cats. How tight is that? The secretary of the post office claimed he did not want the cats to be overfed. And once the shilling had been spent, he insisted that the cats depend on the mice for food until the following payment. Six months later, the cats had drastically reduced the mouse population and the experiment was a success. In 1873, the cats were awarded an increase of an extra six pence per week. So they were now on a whopping one shilling and six per week between the three of them. That's just six pence per cat a week. Other post office branches throughout the country followed suit with the employment of cats. And in the 1930s, the payment was increased to one shilling per cat. The work done by these first original three cats paved the way for subsequent mouse catchers, including Tibbs the Great, dubbed the number one cat by the British Post Office. This fellow was born in 1950 and kept the Post Office headquarters mouse-free for 14 years. During his time there, he was officially employed and was paid two shillings and sixpence a week. He died in December 1964 suffering from oral cancer and received obituaries in several newspapers at the time and had become a minor feline celebrity. Today there are no cats employed at the Royal Mail. The last cat employed at the post office headquarters was a cat called Blackie who died in 1984 which just happened to coincide with the cloth sacks being replaced with rodent resistant plastic sacks. Now I never knew until today that cats were actually paid a wage to work at the post offices back in the day. You gotta love postal history. The only cat that I remember that worked for the post office and traveled around with the postman was Jess from a children's cartoon Postman Pat. Right, that's it for this perfect video. If you've liked this one, then please subscribe to the channel for more content, like the video, and do turn on that notification bell. Alright, until the next one, bye for now.